Hey guys, how's it going? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a couple different timer effects to your videos. If you find this helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, let's get started. First effect I would like to show you is a time code effect. This is very useful in the editing stages of large projects. Having a time code displayed in your clips lets you quickly reference and find the source media in your library. I have my demo project open in my timeline. To add a time code, I'll select a clip and open the effects browser. I'll scroll down to basics and drag and drop my time code effect over my clip. A time code with some basic information about my clip is displayed in the viewer. This includes the source time code and the selected clip's name. If I open the inspector, I can adjust the parameters of my time code. I can choose whether to display source or project time code, show or hide clip name, change font and color, and so on. To apply this effect to all your clips in your project, press Command A to select all your clips and double click the effect in the effects browser. Now when you review your project, you know exactly what clip is used. This is especially handy if you have several takes of the same scene. Next, I want to show you how to add a countdown timer to your project. Final Cut Pro does not have a pre-made effect for this, so you'll have to make your own using a generator. Open the Generators browser and scroll down to Elements. Select the Counting Generator and add it to your timeline. What the Counting Generator is, is a series of numbers going up, so you have to adjust some parameters for a countdown timer. In the Inspector, let's select the Start number and start at 10, and the End number and set that at 0. Now from the Format drop-down menu, let's select Spell Out and adjust the font and color. To adjust the speed of your countdown, simply ripple trim your clip to the desired length. And there you have it, a simple way to add a countdown timer to your project without downloading any plugins. As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe. New videos released weekly. If there is a specific topic you would like to see me discuss in my future videos, let me know in the comments. And make sure to check out the rest of my channel. Lots of great tutorial videos there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.